All right, so you all know I'm not a big fan of unboxings or anything, and other than that, you all know I have covered the Maya Pro an absolute plethora of amount of times. You all know I absolutely love it. It's nothing new here, you know what I mean? But this one here was just so stinking excited for me. It was recently announced on Mechanical Keyboards right here, a special limited release colorway and just design on there, but they also had multiple switches, the new Varmillo EC switches, I covered those before, easily some of the included stock um, keyboard switches that you're gonna find on any board. They are absolutely awesome, butter smooth, multiple weights down there and everything, but they also have a wireless version of the Maya Pro. Now those are coming with kale and cherry switches. You can't get the EC switches on the wireless one. I didn't get the wireless one, but I'm kind of tempted because that'll be pretty sweet. But anyways, I just wanted to share this experience with you guys because I'm extremely excited about it. So anyways, diving right into it here. Again, this is the Varmillo Maya Pro, and I believe it's called the Flare Starlight, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. It's a pretty cool design. Again, you check it out there. Available on mechanical keyboards again. By the way, make sure to use code THETECHNI. So anyways, let's pop this. Oh, sweet. So check out the packaging already, guys. Yes, yes, yes. That's my address and my 5% coupon code there. But take a look. First presented with the space bar. And y'all know I'm not a big blue fan, you know? There is a lot of blue on this, but I mean, just the aesthetics and the vibe from it is awesome. As you can see, PVD die sub. Let's go and get this. Oh wait, hold on. We got something else here. All right, so cap lock, yellow cap lock, and then another uh, shortcut. The page up right there. Let's go and get this bad boy out. Get the box out there. The packaging itself. Just look at that. Right? It's just so cool. Here we go. Take a look at the bottom. So it is Flare Star right there, Vermillo Ducky and Mechanical. Okay, so Mechanical Keyboards partnered with this as well. By the way, this keyboard is 155, I believe, this version I have here, but also the wireless one is 155, also with a pending switch that you get. I think if you get in like the Cherry Silence or Speed Silvers, it does go up a little bit. But this version we have here, 155. So a few more bucks than a regular Maya Pro. Usually Maya Pro, you can get around, give or take 120-ish. So again, you're paying for some aesthetics here, but you're also getting those switches. So let's pop this bad boy. I'm extremely excited, guys. It's like a kid in a candy shop right here. Let's see what we have. Let's get that knife out of there. It might seem like I'm trying to drag this on, but I'm just like, like seriously, I'm just like a little kid here. I'm just getting those nerdy goosebumps, you know what I mean? So, all right, this is our first time together here, guys. Oh, I can see it through the plastic. Okay, so keycap puller, All right? Let's get that aside. Whoop de do. USB. Are they still using? Yeah, so they got USB C here. Would have been cool if that was blue, honestly. What's in here? I think this is from Mechanical Keyboards. Yeah, this is from Mark. No, this is from Bormillo. This is so cool. I use these at my desk. These little keychain things, like little fidget fidget spinners. Really cool little keychain thing there. All right, meat and potatoes. Dust cover. Then we're in the plastic here. Gosh, I can't grip it. How do I get in here? Like I haven't opened up. What do we got down here? Yeah, so Varmilla doesn't do the manuals anymore. They don't do the manuals. You got to go on their website and check it, but pretty self-explanatory and forward. So again, the box all the way throughout it has that theme. How stinking awesome is that packaging? That's like a display piece right there alone, right? Let's put this over here, other goodies over here, and let's get to the meat and potatoes. Yes. All right. I ripped it. Whatever. Whatever. Just, just get it out of there. Just get it out of there. All right. So it's like a dark navy blue. As you know, Maya Pro, you got the pop out feet and everything. And then the other feet there. Is this numbered? It is not numbered. Okay. Oh, yes, sir. Yes. Can we get some focus right here? Look at that. Look at that. I guess painted as raised up. You can actually feel it. Let me see if you can see it better over here. Right? So you can see it's kind of raised up throughout there. Now it doesn't go to the edge. It's just on the top of the plate. As you can see all through the front, no design, but bam, right on the top of the plate. That would have been cool if they went around the whole thing, but whatever. Maybe that's just me being nitpicky. Check, check out uh, the escape up here at the lightning bolt. How stinking awesome in the space bar. Oh, cool. So Yeah, so it's actually in there. This is not painted or printed it's like dice up in there and then of course we do have the white one that you can swap out i, I like the red one that, that that's pretty cool right there look at the uh, enter with the skull 
Oh, mama mia. This is, this is a beaut, guys. This is, but I'm trying to see. It, it's real hard. I'm kind of getting, I'm not sure if you guys can pinpoint it. I'm getting like a navy blue vibe on the case. Again, I'm, I'm trying to get you guys' help here. Trying to get you in multiple cameras and see if you can see. But I'm getting a navy blue. There you go. You can pretty much see it like that. I'm getting a navy blue vibe from the case, but it's so dark I might be mistaking it for black. Who knows? Anyways, again, we are using the Sakura EC switches. Now they make, I forget the other names of them. The Sakuras, I believe, are right at 45 grams. They make a lighter one that's at 35 gram, and then a heavier one at 65 grams. But these switches are absolutely amazing. You all have heard many of my other Maya Pros before, and they some of them might have a little bit of slight ping, maybe. Again, you gotta try for them, you know what I mean? Let me just, let's, let's get a listen to this here. I got no desk mat down either, so here we go. Oh, mama, like, really? Wow, like, I mean, we gotta agree, like, even if I hold it up. Still no ping, even off of it right there, like, what are they doing? It's so sweet. Now, yeah, they still have the USB-C on the back right. That's kind of a stinker, but whatever. I'm so used to it now using the Maya Pros, but uh, I'm not sure, like, it doesn't say anything on here about any like lining or foam being in there or whatever. Let me see. hold on guys, hold on. I got a Maya Pro over here and these are with uh, Cherry Silence. Let's see. That sounds great as well, you know what I mean? But you can hear a slight ping. I mean, barely, I mean, you gotta try, you know what I mean? But. Okay. A slight ping, so it's gotta be the cherry switches right there. You all know I'm not a switch snob as far as my keyboards, but clear as day going one to the other of the same board, same manufacturer right here. The only different, different factor is the switches. I mean, wow, this thing is stinking awesome. So anyways, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this one. I'm, I'm sure a lot of you are getting sick and tired of me covering the Maya Pro, but it's, such an amazing board, and now seeing it come uh, this distance with them finally implementing the new switches, offering a wireless option, and then these, I mean, they've always made awesome designs, but again, seeing limited ones like this, it's, this keyboard, I can't recommend it enough. You all know, I, I praise the heck out of this board, and Farmillo's never sent me a Meyer Pro. I've never got one for free. I buy all of them with my own money. You know what I mean? But, and, and one quick thing before we end this, you know, it's crazy, it boggles my mind. I was talking to some friends about it too. I'm like, man, how does the Ducky One Too Many or, or the Ducky SF get so much praise and the Farmillo Meyer Pro is just back here like, like it's crazy, it's weird. This board blows both of them away easily all day long, you know what I mean? With both switches, cherry switches or these new ECs, you know what I mean? So, I mean, this gets a complete recommendation for me, obviously, heck, any Maya Pro does, but if you're looking for something other than cherry switches, you got it right here. And man, what an, what an absolute win right here, I love it. But again, thank you so much for stopping by and watching yet another video on the Maya Pro here. I hope you enjoyed it, and heck, maybe it helped you out picking out your new next keyboard. If you did, hit that thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to some future tech videos. Hey, I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye now.